This video is sponsored by Loot Crate. Loot Crate is a subscription-based service sending you an assortment of exclusive collectibles, figures, apparel, and other cool geek gear delivered right to your door. For more information, check out lootcrate.com forward slash dragonx or follow the link in the description below. If you decide Loot Crate is right for you, don't forget to give yourself a sweet discount by making sure you enter the promo code dragonx to save 20% off. Thanks guys and enjoy the rest of the video. Hey guys, welcome to another session of Epic 7. So today we're going to do some Fallen Cecilia tests. Now there are two major lines of her build. One is a speedy tanky build. Um, you know, as much speed as possible, as tanky as possible in terms of health. Um, because of her passive, her barrier uh, scales off her health for the entire team. She's very, very top tier uh, tank right now. I would say her and C Armin right now on the defensive line. Probably the most two most useful knights right now in the game um, because of the the strong cleave meta everybody wants to do arena fast everybody wants to do gvg fast so generally they go like full cleave and uh, with c armin's passive mixed with her passives um, it makes it really hard to cleave one turn unless you just got this like really crazy setup but generally you'll see uh, uh, crimson armin and uh, fallen cecilia together Right now, my molas are not uh, quite there yet. I uh, did spread myself a bit thin. So for the showcase, it's fine because I'm not really going to be showcasing it, I think, in the arena. Now, uh, it's really hard to uh, kind of use Fallen Cecilia in most arena fights since because they're they're going really turtley. So unless your Fallen Cecilia is a uh, you know, really strong bruiser, it's not going to really help. So here are my stats right now, 22,000 HP, 207 speed, and then the crit chance crit damage is very low. Effectiveness is pretty high. So her role was just to be an Elbrus tank. Uh, speedy, of course, to put up the skill null. And, you know, Elbrus to uh, hopefully get the provokes. Now, of course, I am missing one Mola on the S1 for that 100% provoke. And then also a, a one turn cooldown for this. I would say, of course, if you are building ML Cecilia, you know, if you're a new player or, you know, old player, but you just pulled her and you're not quite sure how to build her yet, I think uh, molding this at least 2 plus 3, this plus 5, this plus 4 is a must have. Like, there's bare bones, bare bones for uh, any ML Cecilia build. Now, what I'm going to do in this video is going to do a damage comparison um, versus a bruiser build. So, something that's skilled with higher crit damage. Although she is a bruiser, 7% uh, HP scaling on the S1, 12% HP scaling on the S3. It's not as high as someone like ML Ravi or ML Ken by any means. But the thing is, her damage mods are really low. So it, instead of like Ken or ML Ravi at this point, uh, I'm just going to use them as the examples, which does scale from attack and also from HP. For ML Cecilia, you don't need to go hunting for the attack, you know, the attack stats. So in that sense, you can alleviate, you can push as much HP as possible, push as, push as much speed, crit chance, and crit damage as possible. I think for a Bruiser ML Cecilia build, effectiveness is a lower priority. While it's nice to have, you're not going to be really using the the Provoke. But of course, you know, that's we're talking about like the perfect rolls of all your gear for substats. So we're just going to do a damage comparison. Right now, I'm going to go with the speedy, tanky build here um i did run a a quick test uh before recording this video now i don't even know myself what the bruiser stats are because the gold investment in it um is gonna be pretty big i'm gonna do uh 2s uh 2s3 in the world difficulty even though they don't call it that anymore uh and i'm gonna run c dom assassin collie and luna all have triple s imprints <laughs> all have triple s imprints for the crit rate all right so we're cheating a bit because you know, generally in the tanky build, 30% crit chance, you're not going to really be running, maybe you run Luna, I don't know, it depends on your team comp, but uh, you're not going to be running anyone with crit rate, so we're cheating a bit. All I want to compare is the crit damage. So with the Bruiser build I have in mind, I'm going to be losing about 2,500 HP. So we're going to see, because because we're, get, we're scaling uh, damage from HP as well, we got to consider, oh wow, we didn't even get a crit. We gotta consider how much HP she has versus how much crit damage she has. Now, obviously, um, because she's near base crit damage right now, um, my Bruiser build has almost almost 100, 100 more crit damage. So you're really doing 100 times more damage in, ter in terms of uh, like doubling the damage. 
So 100%. Uh, I didn't get any crit so far. No crit so far. Wow. Wow. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure my imprints are. Uh, let's see. 14% on Luna. 12% on Assassin Kali, and I think it's like 12% on C Dom as well. So. She's not creating. Okay, so I picked this one because it's a light elemental boss. So we get another 15% crit chance <laughs> in case that failed. Anyways, we're gonna do the S3 right now. Let's see if we get a crit. No crit on the boss. Okay. So. <laughs> Showcase failed. I should have used C Dom's, uh. C Dom's, uh. Buff. This is not good. This is not good. Um. So, not critting. I uh, might have to run this one again before I swap Regu because I think Luna might be able to kill him with Assassin Kali. Yeah, it's over. It's over. Let me, let me yield it. Let me just do this again. Oh, man. Terrible, terrible. Man, always trolling me, man. Always trolling me on my uh, on my showcases. Here we go. <laughs> Let's try this again. Oh, man. It's just hilarious. Okay, here we go. Let's keep going. So a good thing is at least Fallen Cecilia in my turn order here is quite quite fast. So at least we get to see her damage. Okay, there you go, three thousand. So keep that in mind, three thousand uh, and six. If I can get a crit chance buff with C Dom on the next round, I'm gonna do it because uh, because yeah, we can't take that chance on the boss there. We need that crit chance buff. So on this round, I'm gonna do the crit chance buff if she gets a turn. How annoying. Most likely she will, because crits are pushing her up. Are you prepared for We're gonna spread out the damages a bit. <laughs> I'm so excited! The strongest Nixie! Okay, there you go. Three turn I'm crit chance strongest. buff. So Emma Cecilia now will at least get it for sure. So we'll we'll get this. Missed. Right. Okay, here we go. Now, let's test out uh, her S3 and her S1. Three turns, uh, we're gonna lose... Uh, oh, we got two turns, right. Okay, so two turns. And here we go, now we do it. Okay, 3880. Okay, 3880. So in my previous run, um, on not on the video recording, it, it did the same. The S1, it's kind of hard because Luna keeps killing him on the S1. I can do a test on the S1 on the boss as well. Let's run it twice. And then uh, and then we'll swap the build. So, again, I don't know how my new build will do. Um, ideally, I don't think I'd even need to run a crit buff with the new how build. Annoying. So I'll probably avoid that uh, when I do swap her build. This is only a temporary alliance. Yeah, so 3880, 3006 on these ads for the S1. 3880 is for the S3. Um, just bear in mind that it is not max molded, so of course that uh, that will change. I think there's a 20, 20, uh, 25? I think 25% more damage on her S3 if you get get it to max. So it's pretty, it's quite big. The change is quite big. Ridiculous. Oh shoot! I should have did the buff. Okay, we just we just uh, we just hope her S one will land. So we're just doing the S one damage comparison now. S one on the boss with ML Cecilia. So let's see if we can get it. There you go, three thousand and seventy five. So three thousand and seventy five because it does scale lower. So again, 7% scaling on the S1, 12% 12, 12 scaling on the S3. So yeah, I think that, that works out to be about right. Oh, I should have did that. S1 into the S3. There you go. That would that would work. So actually, let me write this down. I think uh, I think it'd be good to to note this stuff. I think it's like uh, 3,080 there and 3,380, something like that. Anyways, I'll probably note the damage uh, later as well. No crit buff. Let's see if we can get it. Okay, 3,800. 3,880. Okay, not 3,380. Okay, so good thing I'm writing this down now. Okay, so let's kill it off. Alright, so gold investment. Not free equip event. Ideally, I would have done this, but uh, I've been wanting to swap her. 
Um, just to show you guys, right now in Arena, I have her on defense. I don't have C. Armin. Now, she is still working. As you can see, like some people are going for single target damage. Some people are going for cleaving. So you got that uh, J. Kisei there. So obviously, something is working. Um, I think yesterday morning, I had a bit more defense wins. But anyways, it is not important. But what I can see here is that at 207 speed, I'm most likely still not beating um, them in speed. Um, there was uh, some people that lost with Oxalots yesterday on my record. Too bad I can't show it here. Um, but with Oxalots, it, it proves that they are going first turn. So it led me to think, like, is it really important for ML Cecilia to be super fast? You know, like, unless you can beat the CR boosters, um, it might not you know be that much of a benefit so i was thinking you know i've seen some uh, fallen cecilia bruisers and uh they're really successful like i, I mean i there's some team comps i just can't figure out how to take them out efficiently um without elbrus proccing and just really screwing you up um but uh we're just gonna swap this and just to see the damage difference again unless i can find uh, an arena team i can bring her to i'm probably not gonna do a test i know what kind of damage she does Obviously a lot lower compared to the the PvE monster that we were just fighting there. Um, but I'm going to find the gear right now. So I have a gear in mind. I'm going to actually uh, strip my Assassin Kali for her. Assassin Kali has really good gear for a bruiser setup. Um, at least for uh, for her, for um, uh, ML Cecilia. Um, I'm going to take the necklace from Surmia here. Um, it has good, su it's good, good substats for a tank. Um, too bad it's not what not HP, but uh, it's okay. We're gonna take a crit set ring on HP main, and this one's the one I'm gonna go with. Um, eight, seven percent effectiveness. Uh, yeah, crit chance and crit damage. It's a really weird one, but uh, I'll take it. And then for this last one, although I won't keep uh, keep this exact boot on her. Uh, I'm gonna probably gonna use this one. So this one eventually will be probably what I'm gonna use. Five speed, fourteen percent defense, ten percent crit chance. Um, on a crit set boot, you can see it's a eighty eighty percent, almost eighty percent crit rate and a two hundred forty nine percent crit damage. But for this showcase, I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna actually use my Ken's boot, which uh, gives less speed, so only one hundred fifty two, which is still acceptable in terms of like a bruiser uh, 160 speed is ideal for any bruiser more than 160 speed um if you're gonna go like high crit damage high hp um over 160 speed so you know you can't have everything um but like i said uh it drops the effectiveness to pretty much you know non-usable um except on like really squishy dps that don't have you know effect resistance rules but for this showcase, I am going to go with this extra 15% crit damage, so 264%, 81% crit chance. And then the health, as you can see, it did drop 2,300, so I estimated about 2,500, 2,337. And like I said, that the scaling is on HP and the attack modifier is very low. So even though I did drop attack, I don't, th I don't think we're going to see much difference on the attack side, but the HP drop is uh, probably going to make a big difference. But of course, we are talking about scaling uh, 105 more crit damage on this build specifically. We're just going to commit to the build. So right now, she is a bruiser. So welcome to the bruiser team, ML Cecilia. We're going to try it uh, on that same boss and then compare some numbers. So let's do this. Um, I probably will bring her into arena, actually. As a bruiser, she actually can be a decent damage dealer, but I just want to see the difference. So let's try this out. Um, because she's already at 80, 81% crit chance, I might, uh, take out some of my faster heroes, so I don't need that much crit, uh, crit bonus anymore. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna put in, plug in a very slow hero. Uh, let's see, who is my, like, slowest hero? F Maya. Let's bring F Maya in. So I'm gonna try that, um, and then I should still have enough crit, crit rate with the two imprints there. I should be good. So let's try this out. We're doing about 3,000 damage, I think 3,000 flat to this? these guys at first. 4,400. Um, 4,400. Now again, bear in mind the Mola is not maxed. Now, I'm not 100% sure at this point, is the Mola 
scaling like before the crit damage. If Mola scales before crit damage, you actually do a lot more damage. If Mola uh, raw damage scales after, I don't think it's after, I think it's before. Um, so actually getting her to max Mola at this point already seems to be a pretty, pretty good investment. I mean, compared to the damage here, 4,800 versus someone like Luna. That's her number two hit. So that's uh, I forgot what the mod is. Hold on, let me let me double check here. About seven thousand six hundred damage on uh, Luna. That did land the crit, although no elemental advantage. Doesn't matter. Um, it has uh, for to two hits is one point four times mod. So one point four times mod, not that bad. And expects especially my uh, Luna is a two hundred fifty percent crit damage at uh, with her passive at about four thousand. I think a bit over four thousand attack. So that's not too bad if you consider, you know, what investment we put into, uh, and also Luna's max, max Mola. Lines. So I'm gonna do the S1 on the boss right now. 4,500 damage. Scare. Okay, so let's just write that down here. 4,571, I believe that was the that was the number. And we're gonna do for the S3. So I'm just gonna hit these guys. That was 13,000 damage. Emma Cecilia still decently fast, at least faster than my other heroes here. And uh, we're just gonna do the S3. So previously it was 3,880. 5,700. Wow, okay. 5,700. We'll just, we'll just rough it, rough estimate it. So 5,700. Yeah, I think uh, I think definitely I, I don't have the mola right now, but uh, I would totally I would totally mola it now that uh, she's in a bruiser. Now I am using Ken's boot, so again I'm gonna have to nerf her a slight slight bit because I still need my Ken to be usable in a lot of these fights. So you see if we have any uh, any uh, fights that we can kind of bring her to, that would be sort of safe. Like this one might be interesting, although I think I will lose um, because uh, Champion Zorado on this one won't really take away too much. Let's uh, let's try it. Let's try it out. Um, I'm gonna do that. Fallen Cecilia on Elbrus. Um, hopefully she doesn't get stunned too quick here. I'm gonna bring in Champion Zorado. This could be a total face plant to be honest. Um, I could uh, bring Adamant Shield too. Uh, I might bring Adamant Shield. I may, might bring Adamant Shield. Uh, we're, we're testing the damage anyway. We're not uh, trying to get like lucky, lucky RNG procs. So I'll bring Adamant Shield. I'll bring Crow for this one too, um, because we got the uh, Arbiter Vodra to deal with. Uh, I'll bring Crow. He's got the Aureus on right now. Uh, no imprints. Yeah, let's bring Adamant Shield to cut down the damage. So let's go and uh, get rid of it on F Maya. Usually run her with Adamant Shield coupled with Crow, especially for uh, especially for uh, Arbiter Vodrid. But anyways, we got our damage going forward, and uh, let's see how we do. Okay. It's time to show you what I've got. I'll overwhelm you. So, oh my goodness! Oh man, to put my. It didn't strip my uh, Monty, but it put her to sleep. So hopefully this doesn't stun her. It just wakes her up. Doesn't wake her up because uh, oh, and she got stunned. Feels bad, man. 197 percent effectiveness. Chaos. Oh, that's so weird too. My uh, my my uh, champion Zerato didn't get affected. That's so weird. He wasn't affected by. It. By a burn, not a single one. There you go. I must complete my task. Abyssal crown. Okay, I'm gonna put this on uh, on Crow just to survive. But uh, I want to test again uh, Fallen Cecilia's damage. So let's hopefully we can get a turn here. We got a defense break on though, so I want to test if I can just one shot. One shot Arbiter Vujra at this point. Let's just try it out, okay? And never get back it can one shot. And then we got the skill null up. So this would cancel itself. Oh, wait, what? 
Why didn't Let's he do go. the... Wait, that doesn't make sense. Victory is right in front of us. Oh, he revived to Chloe's... Does he get another revive? He revived to Chloe's thing. Does he get another one? He does. I'm sorry I hurt you. But he doesn't get a turn? Well, I don't understand this. I don't understand this at all. What the heck? Doesn't make sense. But uh, we know that the damage is pretty good. And we still have skill null on two of the guys. I think I lost though because my Monty's dead. No, she's not dead yet. Okay. Not yet. Put to sleep. Okay, priority one is uh, to get her up. Maybe I can still win this. Wow, that would be uh, that would be interesting. Okay, so Emma Cecilia at the moment looks pretty good. I'm gonna try to provoke it. I didn't crit. Let's put up a defense buff here. We need to we need to kill off uh Maid Chloe first though. So I'm uh I kind of screwed up. I should have uh I didn't count her revive. So there's two revives with Mate Chloe pretty much. You have to use a little bit. For consistent. Consistent uh consistent win. Let's try to put her to sleep if I can. Shall I have a no. go? The problem is we need the immunity. We need the immunity on her. That would be good. Um we'll we'll keep Arbiter Villager there. Resist. Uh, I'm gonna put this on. Oh wait, we got uh, ML Balls S2 coming already. Don't know if it's worth doing this. Probably. Let's just burn it. Let's just do this. Let me take your pain away. I'll overwhelm you. Okay. So yeah, it's a good thing I did put up the resist there. Dark blade. It's got portrait. Yeah, we gotta we gotta kill these guys off because uh, Chloe is healing too much. Yeah, I don't think I can win. Realistically, I don't think I can win. Um, let's try. Let's see how much damage we can do if we can land the crit. Four thousand two hundred. Let's go. I'm charging. Four thousand two hundred. Yeah, I think it's time to. Uh, I think it's time to mola. I think it's time to mola. I need Kraus S3 back, ideally, and I need to stop, uh, put her to sleep, good. Yeah, Abyssal Crown on that. Okay, Montmorency is doing some work. Uh, Maid Chloe will be able to revive, like, soon, like, very soon. So, now isn't the time to hesitate. Crow, 7,000. I have the. Shall She's actually really tanky, to too. Pretty decently built. Huh. I'll help you. It's going to be okay. Shall I have a go? Prepare yourself. Yeah, we're kind of in an infinite, infinite loop. This is not good. If you're ready, let's go. Let's try to provoke her. I'll keep going. Yeah, I need to kill, uh, kill her off. Need uh, less HP on Crow. Shall I have a go? So I think I have to wait for her to revive, to be honest. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep dying here. Um, I'm actually just gonna do this one. The damage on uh, Emma Ball is pretty good. Let's put this up. Yeah, too bad. I can't provoke her to death because uh, he heals too much. Um. Now it's provoked. Uh, let's see here. 7,000 HP. I'm pretty sure I can kill him off. I'm pretty sure. So let me try it. But the thing is, um, ML Cecilia. And yeah, we're, we're gonna have to pretty much uh, hopefully, hopefully provoke her. 
and then uh, reset Kraut's like cooldown. Like that's pretty much the only way we could do this. Or a double attack like that. That would be cool. Are you prepared for this? Yeah, we're gonna have to try to try to get her provoked. I'll keep going. Uh, I'm not gonna heal Kraut. Now isn't the time to hesitate. Got three turns. Okay, that's pretty nice. The dual attacks, so we're getting a bit lucky. I'll help you. Uh, the yeah, it's coming. The the punishment is coming, so we're lowering the HP on Crow. So we just need to get uh, like any turn she goes, she's gonna revive. So I almost feel like I want to put up her uh, her skill now, you know, just uh, just in case. Hold on, let me see the the turn count here. We got a we got a shield push back. So I'm actually gonna still gonna risk it. We got resistance. We got a shield push back. Hopefully we can push her back enough. No, we didn't push back. Got resisted. Resist. She's gonna she's gonna revive. Full team. Yeah, we lost. We lost. Should have put up the skill null. Oh wait, wait, oh, let's see. If we can kill them off. Okay, we killed them off. Is, is my I, I now need to heal a bit. Go um, I'm gonna do this. But uh, ML Chloe has a revive on herself. So we gotta... Yeah, we, we lost, we lost guys. Um, hold on, let's see. Punishment's already here. She's gonna revive. Um... Yeah, I think I've got to I got to put this on Crow. But I won't give up. Shall I have a go? If I kill her off right now, she'll revive and I think uh, everyone else is dead. So yeah, I don't think there's a way around this one. Um She has uh two turns on her buffs. So two turn revive is it or one turn? Well, let's go for uh, just just the regular hit here. Two turn. Yeah, we lost. We lost this one. Let's go. Um. I'm just gonna hit her one more. Hopefully, we can survive it. Got rid of the skill null. I'm gonna try to soul burn it, and hopefully, we can beat her with the the shield. Then push her back. No, I lost. I lost. If you're ready, let's go. Yeah, she heals back too much. All right, GG guys, GG. Yeah, he died. He died to punishment. Our victories are just beginning. Ah, uh, let's try one more. One with uh, Fallen Cecilia, that can actually be decent. I think. Um, I think for this one, we can try it, uh, for this one, for meta draw, we can try, uh, Elbrus back on, uh, Fallen Cecilia. Uh, Elbrus, this one. And, uh, we'll just go, like, full counter, I think this one. Um, or is there another one better? Rolling... Rolling Roach? Yeah, I think Meta Draw would probably be, uh, probably be the best. Let's try this out. Let's go, uh, F Maya as the bait. I think we still need a bait on this one. And then we'll just go with, like, two, two counter heroes. Um, don't need, uh, I just need DN on this one. I don't need... Don't think I need um, cleansing other than the provoke from the C Armin and uh, Fallen Cecilia, but I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we should be okay. Let's go with SS Bologna. SS Bologna is OP for the counter meta, so I'm gonna try. Uh, let's put SS Bologna in here. 
Uh, I'll actually let uh, let F Maya take the brunt of the damage. I'll keep going. So again, testing Bruiser, ML Cecilia. Let's see with Elbrus. Hopefully, it procs a lot. That would be nice. Just to see. Everything. Portrait. My past, regrets, and hesitation. I'll sever everything with this. Let's start with something light. There's no way I Okay, we just gotta wait a bit. So 150, Let's about a 150-ish speed on Emma Cecilia it doesn't look to be that terrible right now. Um, I'm okay with it. I think the idea is like, I think the theory is like when people are running a 200 speed, 150 just prevents you from being lapped. I think that's pretty much it. Um, but yeah, ideally a bruiser would be like 160. Elbrus. So we're gonna have uh, Elbrus fun here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully our Elbrus procs. That's what I want to see. Over here. Oh, okay. But they got a really annoying healer too. So. It's going to be okay. I won't go easy on you. Provoked. Run before it's too late. I'm gonna save the S3 for some soul burns. Like once their immunity have gone, um, I'm just gonna do that. I was waiting. Don't put all your faith in me. Two two thousand one hundred and sixty-five on a C Armin with crit rate reduction. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. But at the moment, I really feel like the Mola would probably make the biggest difference. And not just the crit damage itself. Like, it definitely needs the Mola. 3,300 damage, crit damage on, uh, on C Armin, even though that was a low mod. Um, but just to get a sense, uh, her crit damage for Seaside Balloon is about 150. But attack is at 3,800. So, you know, whatever... Whatever that means to you. Hopefully that's a good reference point, I think. I'll show you what I've got. Okay, I'm gonna try to uh, even though you can't really land the provoke on her, but a 15% chance I'll take it. Nice. So that did pretty decent damage. Yeah, Mola I think is the biggest change. I believe this is what the goddess will. Let's get the attack buff up for SS Bologna. Grant me the power to extinguish the Good thing evil. about Dien is that she she acquires souls pretty quick. So I'm gonna soul burn it. Heal block, buff block them. Most likely uh she will opt to do her S3 first on the lowest health, and then that won't really do much, but then her S2 will follow up really quick. So you can't do much. You can't you can't set the immunity on. But uh, now her second heal will actually do something, at least for uh, some of them. Or for only Assassin Coley in that sense. To the grave. Two thousand yeah, two thousand four hundred. Yeah, with the Mola, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be really good. Keep in mind that C Armin is on the team. So we do have uh, like crit crit reduction. Um Otherwise, that damage is pretty darn good. Um, just imagine if you ran onto a defense team with uh, with Charles. Um, actually, that's that's actually my defense team right now. Um, Charles with counter with Elbrus, um, Dizzy on counter set with Abyssal Crown, uh, and then uh, have like a Bruiser Bruiser counter ML Cecilia um, for uh, squishy squishy cleave teams. If you get lucky, um, you actually you know. You actually do a lot of damage. We did about without uh, without C Armin there. We did about three thousand, I think three thousand four hundred crit damage on uh, Angelic Montmorency. So I think I think you know I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna see how my defense does, like you know, in the next I don't know next day or two. Um, but you know, I'm my experience when I'm facing like ML Cecilia's if they're really fast. Um, Generally, like yeah, the skill null is pretty nice to have, but I'm not hundred percent sure if that's like like essential. Like so, just theory crafting here. Like if your fallen Cecilia is let's say let's say 
like amazingly fast 220 speed okay let's say 220 speed you just got like the best generally people if they still see your team they're trying to they're trying to cleave you or maybe a syria tamarine and single target nuke you out one by one if a syria does land her s3 it's an unbuffable whatever target um fallen cecilia like cuts into protect with the skill null will not be protected anyway um generally they're gonna drop that s3 from a syria on your you know your strongest damage dealer or the most threatening one um and then fallen cecilia doesn't do much there anyway but but if fallen cecilia is like you know you know a bruiser and uh, has elbrus perhaps perhaps you get a really lucky hit on that first one so on the follow-up heal if they don't manage to kill off your entire team on the follow-up heal you might be able to kill them off so anyways this is the this is what she looks like again right now effectiveness is way too low and then i really do need some upgrades um on gear um taking bits from uh, ken but i will return the boot to ken taking bits from sermia bits from assassin kali to achieve that kind of stuff so i don't know so far so far okay and actually makes her sort of like usable offensive hero as you saw with that uh, Arbiter Vildre fight on the first one, I don't think I think if they didn't have ML Chloe in that one, I think it could have been mine. Like oh, uh, I've seen um, like C Armin, like one without sustain, so like no uh, no healer. I've seen a C C Armin, uh, you know, uh, Arbiter Vildre, um, uh, what's it, uh, ML Ball, ML Armentha teams. Something like that, and uh, I'm pretty sure you know with Fallen Cecilia there with Adamant Shield, it would have it would have got gotten it. But uh, no excuses. I lost fair and square. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna end this uh, feature video here. So this is my Fallen Cecilia right now. I will uh, if if she turns out to be a pretty decent you know defense bruiser. I think uh, I think I will I will max mola her. Um, she's right now I think one one of the best ML. Uh, five star heroes in terms of like usability in like both gvg pvp um and she's not so broken that i don't think she's gonna get nerfed anytime soon but she's not so op that people are complaining about her but everyone knows she's good everyone knows she's like a fundamental defensive hero if you are lucky enough to get her anyways i'm gonna end that here so if you guys have discord check out the discord server follow me on twitter and subscribe to youtube if you haven't as always thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time